What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to remake Drake's latest album cover. Dread Labs. So Drake recently released his latest album called Honestly Nevermind and there's a lot of different opinions about the album cover if you haven't seen it, I'll show it up on the screen right now. A lot of people seem to think that this cover is ugly, but also a lot of people seem to really like this cover. Uh, I for one quite like it, there's probably a few things that I would have done different. Well I want to say that's what we're going to do today, but actually I'm just going to redesign the cover if I was making the cover in general. So don't see this video as me redesigning it in terms of fixing the mistakes in this cover. Just see it as a video how I would make my own version I guess. So before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that you can get the project file for this video and all of the project files from all of my other tutorials if you become a patron of mine. Get it through the link down in the description or if you want to learn more, stick around until the end of the video. Okay, so a lot of people seem to have a problem with the typography in this album cover uh, and claiming that it isn't really readable. So what I'm basically going to do is make it even less readable by making use of tribal typography. So I started out with sketching like some simple letters and placing the letters so I could see where to put each letter and, you know, make it seem symmetrical. And then make some strokes using the symmetry option on and off to kind of get the composition and the shapes of the typography in place. I duplicated this layer and blurred it out a little bit to remove some details. I never really did this before but it really helped me like not get fixated on the lines that I already made with the sketch. So if you have that same problem this tip might be useful. So after this step I basically grabbed a thin brush and did some sketching on the outlines of the text and uh, this was a really easy way to basically create more intricate tribal shapes. And this is basically a method that I haven't really tried before. I usually use another way. Yeah, you might have seen that method in my time lapses but yeah actually this method worked quite well too. So one problem that I usually encounter when doing tribal top Typography is basically getting the thickness of the letters basically you know kind of similar and it's really hard to see what the outlines here so what I did is I printed this part out and I decided to ink it on paper. To ink this I used some brush pens. So the reason I went to ink this physically is basically so I can get out of my studio for a second and you know work in a different space because I really like uh, eases my mind a little bit I guess and it's also a little bit quicker to do this physically than digitally in my case. So I scanned this back in and took this into Illustrator. In order to create the tribal shapes I mostly use circles. I overlap them on top of one another and add some lines with the pen tool here and there and then I basically use the shape builder tool to cut them out and get the proper shapes that I need. Sadly around the end my footage got kind of messed up for some reason and I wasn't able to film the last part of the time notes in Illustrator so yeah sorry about that. But yeah basically what I did was in the end I just rearranged a little bit of the letter spaces uh, basically move some letters around and then I added some morphing and uh, repositioning so yeah basically the logo was a little bit more of what I had in mind in the first place. I then took this logo back into Photoshop and added some nice chrome layers. Pro tip if you want to get some dope colors in the chrome layers, use the inner glow with a difference blend mode on it. Layer these on top of each other and see what happens. So once I was satisfied with the chrome layer I duplicated this layer a couple of times and added some different filters on them. Mainly these were like oil paint filters to stylize and a couple of blur filters to add some glow. So to finalize the artwork I wanted to add some more texture. So I started out with a paint speckles texture, a film grain texture, a sandpaper texture, a noise layer and then a photocopy texture. Have you guys heard I like textures? So I topped it off with a warning sign vector for my Dread Shapes Volume 5 and I grouped the text layer entirely, converted it into a smart object and added the last filter which was a two layer grain filter. All the texture and the warning shape can be found through the link in the description. Getting these really supports me and the channel. Alright guys, there you have it. I redesigned a Drake album cover. So I hope you like it. Uh, I myself quite do and I had a lot of fun making this. So yeah, pretty happy with the result. Uh, before we end the video, I just want to give a quick huge shout out to my patrons. Thanks to my patrons, I'm actually able to do this full time and give you guys videos on a weekly basis. As a thank you, by becoming a patron, you'll get access to all of the project files from all of my tutorials, including the one from this video, a 15% discount in my asset web store, as well as an exclusive Discord role on the Dreadlabs Discord server. If you go one tier up, you'll also get access to exclusive tutorials, such as how to start a clothing brand from scratch and how to create a death metal logo from scratch. So if you want to become a patron yourself, there's a link down in the description. If you don't want to become a patron, that's completely fine as well. Uh, just know that you can support me and the channel by leaving a like, a comment and a subscribe if you haven't already. With all of that being said, this was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.